Hello, Dopen users. Today, let's talk about the Toshiba hard drive data recovery cases. Before this video, we have talked about the Toshiba hard drive refurbishing methods. Now today, let's just check what kind of data recovery cases we have met often in our data recovery net for Toshiba hard drives. Actually, compared with any other hard drive brands, Toshiba hard drive data recovery case is either because the most common cases we have made in our data recovery labs are many physical data rec recovery cases or the cases with genius failure or the translator failure. So usually, when we receive one Toshiba data, re data recovery case, we go to the DFL DDP. We can power on the hard drive and see if the hard drive can get ready a lot. If ready, we can go to perform the disk image or file extraction directly. If not ready, we can go to use the common failure solution. That's the quick solution built in within the DFL data extraction program. So simply click Toshiba and we can find there are two quick buttons to fix the failures. First, the users can first clear the glist. So you can find the operation success within the log window. If this function doesn't work, users can click the translator operation. So you can find operation success in the log window. If both these functions don't work to get the drive ready, the, this drive is mostly the physical data recovery case. The users need to find one matching dollar and swap the heads. So after the head swap in the clean room environment, then users can enter the DFL DDP program and perform the disk image or file extraction. Now let's see how to extract data from the Toshiba hard drive. We can set up new project. Here, users can select you want to do the file extraction or disk image. Usually when the hard drive is in a good status, without much, without many bad sectors, users can go to extract the files directly. But if the drive has many bad sectors, or if the drive just uh, had the head swap in the clean room, it's the best to use disk image within the DFO DDP and then select the target disk or users can image to file. For hard drives with many bad sectors or with weak head or the drive has just the head swap, the users need to use the selective head image. On the left side, Users can click head map, set up head map, and select Toshiba. Toshiba 32 bit. Click OK. So at this time, the program is setting up the head map. After the head map is set up, users can image the good heads first and then image the bad heads. So this is the key and core data recovery technology within a DFDDP to recover the data from the 40 Toshiba hard drives. So you can find that the head map is set up very quickly. So after this head map is set up, users can find there are four heads totally in this hard drive. At this time, users can go to the settings 
image by head. So users can tick or untick the heads. For example, if I just want to image the head zero, then I just tick the head zero to image. At this time, we can click start the image, and then the program will image the head zero only. But if users find the hard drive is in good status or users just need few important files, users can click the window and switch to the file extraction window. So from the file extraction window, users can double click the DFO device and list all the partitions and folders and files. And then users can select the wanted folders or files to recover the data directly. So all in war, it's very easy to recover Toshiba hard drives. For physical cases, just swap the heads or swap the PCD. And then come to the DFLD to do disk image or file extraction. If the hard drive has common firmware failure, users just need to go back to the firmware repair program. Click the Genius Clearing or the Virtual Translator to fix the common failures, and then come back to the DFLDE to extract the files. It's so only these two choices. Thank you for watching this video. Dolphin Support Team.